or you get those same thing with me. That, that Nelly does, right? But because maybe you think I don't like Oyeka or whatever the case, I think I like, I like Nelly. You really more, think it's more into Nelly. I'll sell it. <laughs> A big uh, happy Women's Day to all my South African ladies. Wherever you are watching from, I want to say a happy women's month. And uh, as I'm wishing you guys a happy women's month, I also want to let you guys know that today is my birthday and uh, I am happy to be sharing it with you guys. Yesterday we go down in the history of Big Brother Niger as the most intense, chaotic, worst, worst few day in the history of Big Brother Niger because I don't even understand. One, one minute, there's fight going on here. The next minute, they are settling the fight, saying sorry. The next minute, there's another fight. The next, it was a roller coaster of emotion, a roller coaster of fight, saying sorry, apologizing, fighting again. Upon you guys, I'm sorry if you missed it, but that's why I'm here because I'll be making videos back to back to back to back, detailing all the buzz buzz that has happened and the reason why it happened. So go watch the video. The reason why I'm making this video is just to summarize everything and also share my thought about all the buzz bulls that is happening. Because as I'm making this video right now, guys, there's another buzz bulls happening between Sean, Wani X Handy, and Nelly. And that one is so unnecessary that I don't even know. I don't. I, it, it came out of nothing. It just sprung out of nothing and then it turned into a buzz bulls. Something that could have been talked out and uh, everything will go as normal everybody will just talk it out and everybody will go to bed but no they decided to let their ego take over and now they are uh, making argument they are waking people up because guys you know, it is it, it was bad yesterday whatever it is that lit the fire because in my previous video i pointed out that the housemates are taking time of that the fight that we will see might happen this week Cause this housemate has been working on extra like they've they, they've been bottling their emotions they've been bottling their anger but something set it up just boom and everywhere was lit guys i'm talking about the fight between shingwe and the shaka sisters plus one ex handy i'm talking about the fight between kerry ray and uh and mikey i'm talking about the fight between uh one ex handy and sean and you guys it, it was chaotic it was chaotic yesterday and the areas are soft today so what led to the fight of sean and one ex handy let's start from there because that's the most recent what was happening right now so we've all known according to their diary session that the one ex handy pair are not happy with the way nelly throws herself to Sean. How Nelly is always hugging Sean. How Nelly is always putting her tie on top of Sean's tie. All sorts of rubbish. They are just trying to mark their boundaries. But Nelly is not respecting that boundaries according to their diary cycle. And today it happened again. After the whole pool party, this housemate went on, got dressed, those that ate it, those that went straight to bed, went straight to bed. But Sean and Nelly was still there, upstairs, talking. And guys, we already know Sean and Nelly. Nelly is that is so touchy. Yes, Nelly is that type of person that whenever she's having a conversation, I don't know if she does it on purpose. Or maybe she's just trying to poke this housemate. Because when they were having that conversation, Nelly would just <laughs> touch Sean, <laughs> hold Sean, hug Sean. And... It was handy that I found out that Nelly and Sean were still upstairs talking. So when I handy rushed, called one, I'm like, and I was like, hey, come see your man, what he's doing. I guess we know how hot tempered one can be. We know how one can go from zero to one thousand in a split of seconds. So immediately she saw that she became agitated, she became angry and was like, no, Sean, you can't be doing that. She tried to come in there and scatter the conversation. Sean was like, no, I'm coming. Let me finish this conversation I'm having in a respectable way. And Wani X Handy lost it. Immediately Sean was done with the conversation he was having with Nelly. They dragged Sean's ass into the bathroom and guys, they were raining fire 
They were talking about how Sean has disrespected them, how Sean doesn't care about how they feel, how Sean is this, how Sean is that. And Sean was like, no, you two can gang up on me. If you want to talk, talk and then let me talk. You can't be talking, your sister is talking and then you want me to also talk. No, let's talk one after the other. If your sister talks, you talk, I talk. Let's get to the bottom of this. What is actually wrong? What are you guys angry about? And they say, oh, the way you, you the way you uh, don't respect boundaries, the way you do with Nelly, it, it, it's, it's disrespectful to me as your as the girl is disrespectful. All sort of rubbish. And I'm like, Wani, you just met this guy two weeks ago. So what kind of boundaries are you trying to build? Like, what are you saving? Because we already know that is not a relationship based out of love. No, that is a relationship that is based out of strategy. You are only doing that because you've noticed that the Big Brother viewers, this is what they like to do. This is what they like to watch. So you formed a relationship or a ship just to garner votes and sympathy for yourself. So why won't you let Sean, who is there to have the best time of his life, mingle, interact and have conversation with different ladies? So you just want him to be calm cool collected according to sean sean was like oh so you just want me to be cool calm and collected when i'm having conversation with people so i can't have normal conversation with people and be relaxed because i'm friends with you i'm dating you i have to be like this while i'm talking with the ladies and they were like no it's not that you have to be it's just that you need to talk to nelly that she should stop her hugging you whenever you guys talk she's keeping her ties on your tie. and sean was like you guys are angry at nelly but you are not angry at onyeka because the same way Nelly and I talk is the same way Onyeka and I talk. So why is it that you guys are picking offense when Nelly does it, but are not picking offense when Onyeka does the, does the same thing? Wani couldn't explain herself. As I'm watching that and I'm like, these girls, they've formed that knack of them being the wasbos queen, being the housemaid that is always there whenever they say fight. Whenever there is a fight, Wani ex handy, especially Wani, will find a way to insert herself there and then change the whole script into her being the victim. She tried to do that with Sean and Sean wasn't buying it. Sean was like, no, I respect you as a woman and I have conversation with other people, which is what you should be doing. But trying to let me... Or trying to make me not have conversation with people because we are together. It's a no-no from me. They are still trying to sort that and that whole was goes out, and I can't wait to see how it goes. So the next couple that I'm going to be talking about and their was goes is the was goes between Shinwe and Zion. So now, what is the cause of the whole fight between Zion and Shinwe? You might ask. It all started from what transpired between Shinwe and the checker sister so zion was there when the whole fight started and Zion was like okay babe you messed up please go and apologize to these girls we still have our task to do we still have things to do you will always meet these girls here in this house so for the sake of peace for the sake of our task for the sake of everybody getting along go and say sorry she started raining fire and brimstone on zion why would i apologize to them why they were the one that wronged me so if someone wronged me i should go and apologize to them blah 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 one of my own emotions sean uh, uh zion you don't even care about my own and zion was like i care about your emotion i i your best interest is all i have at heart but you were wrong go say sorry let let everybody move along Along the whole process of them having a conversation, something led to something and a conversation was had where one of them said, okay, once we are done with this uh, show, once Big Brother ends, it is over between us. So now, Shinwe started rambling, talking all sort of rubbish to DJ Flo that imagine uh, Zion threatening her with breakup. Guys, go watch the video. I made a video about that. So go watch it. So after all that was, was Shinwe was trying to feel like she's the boss chick, that Zion will always be there to do whatever she wants to do. 
She even married out that she is the one taking care of Zion. That all the expenses they did before coming to Big Brother House, that she was the one that catered for all of it. And I'm like, girl, that is not something you should be talking about on public domain. That is not something you'll be talking on national television. You are live on TV. You can't be airing your dirty laundries on to all of us, the viewers. That is not what we are there to see. We are there to see you compete. We are there to see you strategize. Airing your dirty laundries to us won't take you far. Because now, you've made a statement where you say you don't care about the money. You've made a statement where, like, oh, you've made a statement where you told us about all the business you have outside, how your father is, uh, is uh, had a contract of oil and gas that you are working with. And I'm like, yeah, no. Now what happened? After the whole fight, everything went on. They went to the pool party. Everybody had fun. Zion was being, like, Zion was being petty. Because throughout the pool party, Zion was just having fun on his own. Why, uh, Ching was having fun of her own. At the end of the day, instead of the two of them to come back together and feel like, okay, this is what happened. Let's talk it out and everybody goes their separate ways. Ching was still forming that she was right. That Zion needs to come and apologize to her. And Zion on the other hand was like, no, I am not wrong. I know that I was right. So why will I go and apologize? So now the ego is now in play. Zion doesn't want to apologize according to Shinwe. Shinwe wants Zion to apologize. So now the two of them are not talking. So as Zion wants to be petty to the core, Zion decided to cancel all communication, like desist from being in the same, uh, what's it called? In the same space with Shinwe. And to show you that Shinwe is all back and no action. Immediately she noticed that Zion has been distancing himself from her. My girl went into my girl went into crying. Like she was shedding tears, guys. When I'm talking about tears, you know that kind of crying that when you cry, you start. <laughs> that was the kind of crying. Shinwe was crying. DJ Flo tried everything to calm her down. DJ Flo was like, oh, come, let's go upstairs, come and sleep. Tomorrow then you guys will talk. My girl was crying, guys. She was shedding tears. And to make matters worse, I was laughing while she was shedding that tears. It's not like I'm insensitive, no. The reason why I was laughing is Chinga was here crying. Zion, on the other hand, was here. Guys, you see the, how close they were. Close proximity. Zion was here handling the tax, the uh, painting for their wager presentation. Why Shinwe was raising her voice, crying. And I know why she was crying. She's trying to get Zion to shift his attention from the task and move his attention to her. But my guy was like, ha -ha, you can't take my attention out of this presentation, out of this painting. I'm going to focus on this painting and I'm going to complete it. Zion didn't, didn't even notice Shinwe. Zion didn't, didn't even know like. She was, uh, like, all the cry that Shima was in was falling on deaf ears because Zion was busy with his paint, with his brush. Okay, where haven't I painted? Shima was behind him crying. <laughs> Zion was just busy doing his painting. And I'm like, yo, guys, I don't know if this will be the end of their relationship. And I would not like for it to be. Because when this housemate came into the house, they showed us that they had a lot of love to share. Like they showed us that they had a lot of love for each other. So I wouldn't want the pressure of being housemate to be the reason why they break up. That is all I have to say about the Shinwe and Zion pair. They should find a common ground, talk it out, and make peace. That is all. Because I'm all for peace and love. So let them make peace and talk it out. The next couple or the next fight that happened that I'm also here to talk about is the whole fight between Kerry Ree and Mickey. Guys, Kerry Ree made it a point that him and the wife are not going to tell the housemate that 
they are married they are going to keep on uh, spreading the lie of us being besties but Kerry's action is always putting that lie to test and up until now the guy has been kind of surviving the lie but it seems like Kerry is trying to stretch how far the lie can go or what he can do to sabotage that lie and see how long the house how, how long it will take the house me to find out why am i saying this we already know mickey mickey talks a lot guys mickey yaps a lot yo the type of yapping mickey does something as little as this might happen mickey will yap about it for days mickey will yap about it for hours so what happened between K uh, mickey and kerry so Kesha on one side cooked noodles from the story I had cooked noodles for the housemates. So the housemate shared the noodles and Kerry didn't get his portion or Kerry wasn't uh, hungry. I don't know what happened, but Mikey made a statement that, oh, Kerry, the Indomie your best cooked. They didn't give you, you know, that kind of statement. Maybe he made it out of joke. I don't know. I don't know what is inside his mind. But Kesha was kind of angry on the way Mickey sounded. Like, why are you talking about it? Are you trying to say that I don't like him enough that I will cook noodles for the other housemate and not cook for my best? Kesha kind of talked about it. And immediately Kesha talked about it. Kelly, on the other hand, noticed, okay, my wife is angry. And as a protective guy that he is, he rushed in, bought the whole case, and started giving it to Mickey. Oh, why? Why will you do it? Why? Hey, you are my guy. You're not. So, you're not supposed to be talking like that. And Mickey was like, "Hey, bro, you're my guy too. What I said, I didn't say it to cause fight or cause the two of us to start shouting at each other. No, I was just telling you. Okay, see what happened. And Kerry was, yo, no, 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 no. yo, guys. It was a lot. It was a lot of fight. And coming out from the whole fight between Onyeka and uh, and Chingu, I'm like, you guys should just keep quiet. It is late. It is late. You guys should just keep quiet. And they kept on blabbing, guys. They kept on blabbing. And I'm like, does this should be? Yes, we need drama. Yes, we need action. But the unnecessary drama is not what we need. It is uncalled for. This is something that you guys should just come. Hey, my guy, I don't like how you do. Uh, talk about this this is my friend you shouldn't talk about it that way okay sorry you dump it out simple so making a man making a uh what's this word making a molehill out of a mountain or something i'm forgetting the word or trying to make something as unnecessary as that comment or unnecessary as blowing hot out of a conversation that was had or out of a statement that was made he said no no but at the end of the day they let her dab the top as guys they made up kesh kelly begged his wife to go and apologize and the wife was like why will i apologize i did nothing wrong why should i apologize to him he was the one that made the comment so why should i be the one apologize and kelly was like hey babe we're in this house so what i say please do it go and apologize i'm still waiting to see the apology maybe the apology has happened but big brother did show us but the one i saw was the apology between mikey and kerry they have apologized to each other and they have dabbed it out and everything is smooth and everything is going peacefully until we'll see what will happen today guys this housemate will be having their wager tax presentation today and with the whole was was going on with the whole tension with the whole house being divided i can't wait to see how they will perform this week's wager presentation when the time comes guys let me know throughout the buzz buzz that is happening that happened yesterday what was your highlight or do you feel like this housemate are just taking things are just blowing things out of proportion was the buzz buzz called for that is the question was the buzz buzz called for and if it was which of the buzz buzz was your highlight the buzz buzz between sean and one ex and then the boss was between Shinwe and Nelly, the boss was between Kerry and Mikey, or the boss was between Sean, between Nelly 
Sorry, on the was between Shingwe and Zion. Let me know what you thought, Adam, below in the comment section. And don't forget, give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.